living. You just what? And I'm just living how I'm living, yeah. Welcome back to my channel. So my name is Chantel, for those of you who haven't been on here before. And today we're specifically going to look at my hospital bag, the twins hospital bag. As a little added bonus, I am gonna unbox these little bags that I made using some of the free products that I received for the cars so that you guys kinda know what my emergency packs look like, all right? So this was a very highly requested video. So let's get started again with the makeshift stand. One day I will buy a stand, but you know, there's just so much other priorities right now. Um, you guys have this wall, which is in the front living room. It's just white. We have one accent wall that hasn't been done yet. And I'm excited to make a tour of the house eventually when everything gets into a decent All right, and then today I have my little brother, Duong, again. He was actually here for the last unboxing video of all the free boxes I got. Um, but we're not going to have him all up in the video because last time... Um, he was looking really bored, so, um, yeah, we're not going to have that. We need some excitement up in this drawing because some of this stuff is not that interesting. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, let's get started with the twins bag. So, I got a bigger bag on the registry just because I needed enough space for both the twin stuff. Um, I did clip this on the outside. It's the munchkin baggies. And what it has is that it has kind of like when you walk your dog, it has like the bags. Well, these bags are for diapers and wet clothes. And it was recommended by a lot of moms because you can actually like put wet clothes or, you know, maybe poop up their back and all that stuff. You can kind of use these bags for it. So highly recommended. So I snapped one of those on the outside. And then obviously this also brings for the changing pad. Okay. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so safety kit. I just want you guys to know that this is not only stuff that I'm gonna have for the hospital. I actually just started putting things in here that I felt that I needed for everyday use with the twins. And I will be keeping some of this stuff in after the hospital visit. So it's not all the hospital visit, but it's what's inside my baby bag. Sorry, I got distracted because, you know, my handy dandy assistant who is now finally actually sitting in his seat. Um, decided he wanted to play basketball with um, a giant vase that I have in my living room and a dryer ball that you put in the dryer. Yeah, so let's go back to this. So this is my actual, my safety kit. So if I open this up, as you know, all the essentials. It was the safety first kit that you can get from Target. And it has kind of a little bit of everything in, kind of, in case the baby gets sick or like combs, brush and nail clippers and toothbrush and medicine, medicine little container to give them the medicine. And then you have um, the thermo thermometer. So there you go, Nene. Don't make a mess. All right, so the next thing is the nose Frida. I put this in my bag. I heard it's very, very, very good. Um, it's a little bit expensive, but I think it's super worth it. So if you guys need to buy something like this, buy it. Um, I won't be necessarily using this in the hospital. I would assume they have something that can help out. Um, but I just brought it because it's something that I'm going to keep in this bag. And then I have two bobos. I call them bobos. I know they're like pacifiers, passies. I have two. One is, they're both actually football themed. Oh, they're pretty cute and like I said before that's predominantly for the um, bag and then a and D ointment cream I have one of those in the bag as well like I said before this is one of the products that is going to be remaining in my bag okay so I brought them some long sleeve shirts so everything is double so as you can see one's behind the other so I'll be just picking up the, the two like this. This is a long sleeve, and since um, they're twins, they predominantly come preemie. 
So all the clothes that I packed in here is preemie. I actually packed a lot, so you guys are gonna be shocked. But the reason I packed a lot is because um, Tyler is 6'4", so I feel like the babies are gonna grow really, really fast. And so I wanna at least get them into their preemies one time, <laughs> even for a picture, for something, but at least to get them into it once. So I kind of brought whatever I had of bank clothes. So I have onesies that finally say something of mom. It says mom digs me. And then a yellow onesie, one with puppies. Another onesie. Couple other onesies, different colors. A lot of blues. I bought them little hats to, for the hospital. It's good to put your babies in hats um, because it helps with the forming of like, the shape of the head as well as keeping people away from touching their head. So I brought actually three. But that the last hat that I just showed you, bring it back. This last hat is actually for them to leave the hospital because it comes with this little outfit. Ooh, look how cute, oh my gosh. That's gonna be their, their exit outfit. Um, I put long sleeves because although it is warm outside, um, babies actually get really warm. I mean, babies actually get really cold. Um, so it's better to have them in long sleeves items. Um, plus it's pretty thin, so I'll be putting just the onesie underneath it, and then I'll put that for top. Then we have these little shorts for different clothes. All right, and then I did bring them these. This one goes with the other, mom takes it. Yeah, and the other, and the yellow one too, and the blue. It goes with multiple items. But I also brought these little booties, and these are actually the booties that Ty and I brought to announce the pregnancy. So I'm happy to be putting them on them as they leave the hospital. Then you guys are gonna call me crazy, but like, I like socks, so. I just brought a bunch of socks, okay? Because I like socks and I feel like babies should have socks on, so they will have socks. Socks and booties. Yes. The other booty for the other one here. We also brought these. So it's in the bottom, it's closed. I forgot what these are actually called. I'm pretty sure this is like a swaddle, like, but like it's not a swaddle blanket, it's like a swaddle, a, a swaddle zip up. I don't know, but it's really, really cute and it'll keep them warm. So I'm probably going to put them in this as well. I have two. I have two of everything, do you want them? There you go. Another sock. There you go. I also, in this bag, I realized I have an extra set of rolls for my clip. And I brought them these, um, these mittens. So they're not scratching their faces um, and the, the leaving outfit actually folds in and so does the white um, the white onesie you can fold it over their hands which um, work better but I brought them these just in case so I just really brought two pairs they can kind of use with anything so that's everything right now I'm slowly adding like more and more stuff to the baby bag not necessarily for the hospital just in general but as for the hospital the clothes anything else that i added in there was predominantly what i remembered okay so my hospital bag um to start i do have a pillow that i'll be taking over it's still in the container it's actually a king size pillow from our bed that my mother-in-law got me shout out to nikki um but yeah, I'll be taking this one to the hospital because it's nice and big and it's fluffy and it's really comfy. All right, I'm in the hospital bag. It's big, it's one of the Victoria's Secret totes that actually Nikki bought me as well. Um, oh, like two Christmases ago. So 
yeah let's take a look inside so let's start by shampoo and conditioner the hospital might give you some of these toiletries but i kind of brought my own because um i like the ones that i use so this works the best because it has a uh, shea butter and almond so i really like this um brand body wash olay this is the most amazing body wash I've ever used. It kind of feels like you're putting lotion on um, and soap. It's awesome, it leaves your skin so soft. So I brought my own body wash because I'll need it and Ty likes it too. So we'll both have body wash because he'll be staying at the hospital. Bio oil, people, bio oil. This is for them stretch marks because I'm gonna keep putting them on because you know, to have a body after this so i'm gonna take this to the hospital so that i can continue to put it on my aunt actually bought me this and it has been working very well so i will continue to use it i also have coco shea which is a 24-hour moisturizer so i brought lotion as well detangling brush i use it all the time so obviously i have shampoo and conditioner I'm gonna need a detangling brush, so I'm gonna bring my own brush. Cause I don't know if they provide that and I don't wanna know where they got it from, so bring my own brush. All right. Obviously I'm gonna bring my little shoes because it goes with my robe. And yeah, I will definitely be comfy up in there. I'll be ready and comfy. I was crazy with my kids. I'm bringing socks. I'm bringing two pairs of fuzzy socks. I'm bringing a pair of regular socks. Um, I just like socks. I like to have socks on, especially when I'm cold, because the cold comes right through your feet. So, uh, especially the fuzzy socks. All right. I brought my Snuggie. So I will be wearing this. And obviously, I don't know if you guys saw the commercial online. And it's like you could do everything with your blanket on. So I could slip my arms in here. Be like this or opposite. So I could still have the front open for the doctors. So everything will be it's nice and big and it's very fluffy and warm. Except another pair of fluffy socks. <laughs> Not actually shocked that I found another pair of socks. All right, my maternity bra. This is my favorite maternity bra, actually. Um, so I have, I brought two pairs. I brought a white pair um, and a black pair that's in here somewhere. We'll get to it eventually. Weird topic, but undies. I know these are the ugliest undies you've ever seen. <laughs> You're probably like this grandma, but for real, it helps after you give birth. You want all the of that tight and you don't want it to hang or feel uncomfortable. And I heard that this is the best thing you can buy. So I actually bought three of them. Three pairs of the same one in different colors. Um, and plus you'll have like a pad on for bleeding. So it's best that you have good underwear on. Which the pads reminds me, I actually do um have pads like the large pads they're um always they're purple they're nighttime so they're really really long and they have the flaps to flap around the underwear that way that the blood doesn't go all over the place because i heard that the pads at the hospital have don't have flaps and the blood ends up getting everywhere and that's just not something i want to deal with so i did buy those always purple pads but they're actually not in my bag at the moment which reminds me i need to get that <laughs> all right you know I bought that granny robe. You know I bought that granny robe. Because you can't be that sexy at the hospital. And you need something that you know could come off and on and something thin and long, really long. So I actually bought this one. It's not that cute, but it'll do its job. I also brought another one that I use that's long sleeve. It's really long as well. I've actually been using this all the time. I still use it in my pregnancy. It's just super comfortable, super long. 
the only thing that doesn't make me look like I'm wearing a belly shirt or anything. So it's very comfortable. Um, so it's like the long john material. So it's nice. Very nice. All right. My robe. So Nikki actually bought me this robe for um, Christmas. No, it was actually for Easter this year. But yeah, it's really nice. It matches with my little slippers. It's Ralph Lauren. Very, very nice robe. And it's long. She bought me it a large. Just a little big, but it's good because it'll fit me loose. So I won't, won't feel really tight in the hospital. There's the other bra. These are the best ones out of all of them, I feel. It does have padding, but it clips right off for when you're breastfeeding. So you clip these, boom, your boobs out. Clip them back, your boobs covered. So, best one in my opinion. I don't really like, I'm not a huge fan of padded bras, so that helps me a lot. And then the rest of my toiletries. So, I have my Lady Speed Stick. Which honestly, I'm not like a super prude prude about um, what detergent. I mean, what deodorant I use. <laughs> I don't even know where the words are coming from. I'm I'm not super prude about it. I really use anything. Uh, so my mom bought me these. So this is what I use now. But sometimes I like the spray ones. They're just quicker. And then I have a toothbrush. There you go. I am gonna buy a bag of Jolly Ranchers because I heard that you can use those in the hospital. And um, actually, can you go over there and look for a pair of white socks? So I have these that are all the hair ties because I feel like I will need it. And in case I forget mine or I'm in a rush leaving the house, I do not want to leave without it because I will be miserable if I can't put my hair in a bun. So actually, I wanted to open these socks and I just thought about it right now. These socks were given, me, given to me by my friend Alyssa Watkins. But it says ready, set, push. So I'm super excited to wear these in the hospital. I'm gonna wear them the day that I'm delivering. So, super cute. I heard they work very well and they seem very tight so it probably helps with the circulation. So, I'm excited. And that is what's in my bag. Okay, the added bonus, my emergency car bag. So we actually got this from the free products that we unboxed in my previous video. And all right, let's take a look inside. So I actually put six pairs of diapers. And you guys might think, wow, that's a lot, but you know, they're twins. So I know I'm gonna need a lot of them. So I actually put like a couple newborn and a couple size one. And then obviously we'd have to swap those out to get bigger. But it's really for just emergencies if we're out or something happens and we really need that. We have another one of the Munichen uh, clip bags. So for emergencies in the car, this will probably be in our glove compartment. And then we have two bowls, passes, however you guys call them. We have a lotion, a vino baby in there as well. And then a pack of wipes. So we actually created this kind of out of what we found and we'll have one in each car so that um, in case anything happens, we kind of already have things to assist in our struggle. We actually do also have, um, I'm surprised this one doesn't have it, but it might be in between one of the diapers. We also put the like rash cream in there, the little samples that we got, the little bottles, so that, you know, in case there is an emergency in that aspect, we will have this. Uh, plus, in Tyler's car, he will have a changing station pad, just in case he doesn't have the baby bag and he really needs somewhere to put the babies, we put one of those in his car as well. All right? You made it to the end of my video. So, um, thank you so much for watching. So you should definitely thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe, comment below, comment below some topics or something. Comment below maybe suggestions, anything that you felt you really needed in the hospital that I might not have added. I am definitely open to suggestions and opinions, of course. And 
As always, I have to show you guys my belly because obviously if I got my hospital bag here, it's because I'm so pregnant. So here's the belly. I know. This big, let's not forget, it's two, two boys, all right? And it's like a random bug. But um, yeah, that was my mom in the background. She came because she thinks I'm gonna give birth any day. So she wants to be available. So thank you, Joanne. Say bye to the peeps. Bye. Until next time. Bye. Yeah. I'm just living how I'm living. And I'm just living how I'm living, yeah.